but the uh, Life is Strange 2. Um, I did thing different. So, took a little longer than I expected to download download the episode. Um, I know a lot of people saying pretty much a whole bunch of different shit. Because my buddy says you two dying. And I think a lot of pretty much platforms are dying. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, what the two fuck? brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together, but one day, hunters took their dad away. Forever. So now the brothers were alone, and they had to find a new home. They started a journey through the great big forest. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. They slept in the backwoods among creepy creatures and barely ate anything. They eventually found a peaceful orchard and were able to eat in peace. But they didn't know. Hunters tried to tie them up, but the Wolf Brothers managed to escape with the help of a friendly bear. He showed them how to survive and helped them find a warm camp for the night. That's when the Big Brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. That's how they found themselves even further, headed to the faraway land of their pop, where they hope to find peace. That's it. heavy for you a few days ago. <laughs> Let's try to lift something else. Not too heavy, though. I'm a little tired. I'm so glad Daniel took this little girl with us. Welcome to Telekinesis 101. Please don't kill your teacher. How about trying out that rock over there? Just one more time. We already tried yesterday. And the day before. 
It's too far. I can't reach it. Just one more time. so scared of himself. We need to work this through. <sighs> Not your usual shooting rage, right? Sometimes, he looks so scared of himself. We need to work this through. Is this one too big? Yeah, it's just way too massive. Can you... Throw this rock in the river? Oh, yeah! Just watch. Splash! Okay. Let's show Daniel some more stuff to play with before we call it a day. Dude. It's getting late and cold. Let's get done with this practice session. Okay. Mm -hmm. How about those cans? Can you fly them all together without dropping any? Sure. Look. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. You're getting way better at this. You could... try and lift Mushroom? Are you kidding? I don't want to hurt her. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Let's leave the puppy out of this. How about that one? I can do it with the small rods, but not the big ones. You can do this. Trust me. Just relax. Focus. I'll try. So much to his shit. There you go. Whoa! Holy shit! I did it! <laughs> like a boss. You're getting good at you this. You see that mushroom? That was the biggest rock ever. <laughs> Come on, dude. That's just the start. Let's try something else. Cool. You're like Coach Aaron. You're my power coach. A snowball fight? Not yet. This is a new exercise, young apprentice. See if you can stop this in the air. Cool? Okay, but you better not hit me. Like that time you gave me a bruise? Serious. You won't let me, right? Try it. Sean! You suck! I said don't hit me, jerk! 
I'm sorry. I, I thought you would stop it. Serious. Sean. I knew that you could. I've taught you well. But you, you're a master student. <coughs> hey, that still sounds nasty. You're not getting better. I told you. I'm fine. Just a little beat. Well, you need to rest now. Superhero. Can we go back now? Yeah. Let's just fill up the canteens before we head back. <coughs> that cough has been going on for days, Daniel. I really don't like that. I told you. I'm fine. We've just been outside for a while. All right. <sighs> Finding that house was a miracle. But I'm afraid we can't stay. <sighs> we really nailed it with this two-headed snow ogre. Yeah. They're really badass. And Musher isn't even afraid of them anymore. Right, puppy? Good doggy. <laughs> Uh, Sean? You're such a good girl. The family that lived here... Sorry, guys. We don't take any more guests. Mushroom is so funny when she plays in the snow. <laughs> no one leaves a big house like this one. Unless they don't she have a choice. It. Maybe they got tired of these woods. Well, hey, get over here. I'm glad they left. This is our lair now. Just... Careful, little puppy. friends. They'll catch a troll in my room. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. We need our fresh water before we go back inside. What? What did you find, Shroom? Gotta leave these poor bunnies alone. Okay. Let's find water and then get inside. It's freaking cold out here. Look, Daniel! I think I saw that rabbit from the other day. He's trying to get home. Ooh! I want to see the bunny! <laughs> ah! Uh, fuck! Uh, Sean! My hand! <laughs> oh, dude, your face. Sean, you suck. <laughs> Come on, Daniel. I was just kidding around. Moron. Oh, almost forgot to check our traps today. Daniel's not getting any better. He needs medicine in a real house. Proper windows and oh, heating. Oh, cool. Huh. We really suck at this trap thing. Let's see. I miss Dad's barbecues. 
This marinade with the aciote paste, jalapenos. Shit. You can't really name birds, right? Probably the name of a child who used to live here. The family who owned that cabin really seemed to enjoy themselves here. Why never come back? Huh. Dude, come on. Let's find those canteens and fill them up so we can go inside. Sean, what is wrong with I my I trained tracks? Daniel. I haven't taught anything. Daniel can train Shroom. Wildlife one. Daniel Ciro. I guess. What the canteen? We have to talk about it. Where are you going, Pop? Tonight. like a bear, but you don't gain any weight. That's because I work it off. Cold. But my raccoon sweater is the best. Hmm. I think I left the canteens on the berth. On the berth. Probably chilling in their nests, just like us. Where the fuck are the canteens? It's so silent out here. No neighbors. No roads. It's like we're on another planet. A new planet. That's exactly what we need. We should fill these up now. Don't want to go out during the night. A new planet. That's exactly what we need. Here we go. The Hella Tanker is over the wildfire zone. Get ready for water extraction. Ranger Diaz. Nice work, Daniel. Glad to see our training sessions are paying off. Thanks to you. So glad I don't have to touch that water. It's too fucking cold. Uh, oops. Sorry. I said fucking. <laughs> it's fine out here. 
There's no one to hear you curse. Say whatever the fuck you want. Cool. Come on, get out of my way, man. Shit. Man, this is gonna be one fucking long chapter. I, I just see it. Pros now. Are you sure? Dude, that cuff doesn't sound too good. Uh, I'm okay. Just cold. You kicked ass today. Level up. I did. That was so cool. It's getting easier every day. Oh no, Sean. This is a haunted house. It's more like, uh-oh, it's time to go over the rules. I told you about showing off. I was just... Whatever. Dude, I know the rules. Let's find out. What's the first one? Uh, um... Hide your power. If you spin one plate in a diner, what happens? People will freak out. And when people freak, what do they do? They call the cops. Exactly. The second rule is... Don't, uh... Never talk about it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice, Daniel. Because that's usually the hardest rule for you. <sighs> Shut up. <laughs> and the final rule? I know... Come on. Um... You can do it. Okay. Um... Avoid danger? Run from danger. This is the most important one. You know why? Uh, I don't know. I mean, with my power, I can help us. Only as a total last resort. How will I know that? If there's any other way of helping, do that first. Maybe if I had used it before. Man, he looked like Dad shit. Might still be here. Daniel, you didn't even know. That shit was out of your control. But. Look what happened to the policeman. Maybe this power is a curse. Or something. Hey. We have no clue what happened. And it's not your fault. <coughs> Don't worry, Mushroom. I'm okay. Good puppy. She must be hungry. What about you? I'm always hungry. <laughs> then let's grub out. I'll make us some dinner. <laughs> yeah. Before she eats us. <laughs> Wish I had more than tobacco, to be honest. There was a little bit left when we came. Pretty disgusting, but helps staying warm. The robot ready for takeoff. Three, two, one. <laughs> kind of weird to use stranger stuff every day, but not like we have a choice. Scuba is hovering on dead planets. Poor
poor guy. I guess kids have to grow up anyway, right? Um, okay. HQ, I'm flying over the city. No danger in sight. Copy? Yep. No more indoor training sessions. This room is fucking cold, so... We put everything we didn't need in it and... Keep it closed. Kinda reminds me of Dad's cheesy posters. Thanks, Hank. Take care. Feels almost good to be cut off from everything. Ha. Huh. I can't believe how much Daniel's powers have improved over the last weeks. We're so lucky this thing is still working. Wouldn't have lasted long without E. I wonder how far it... I hate it when I hear Daniel crying at night. Do shit. Um, all right. Mushroom clung to Daniel on the first nights, but now she loves her bed by the fire. High school feels so far away now. Okay, I need to find something. We really lucked out stumbling into this house. Hey, Shroom. You thirsty? <laughs> Good girl. Poor guy. I guess kids have to grow up anyway, right? I wish I helped Dad more with the house chores back then. Tanya must have been pissed that day. Don't blame him.
Daniel's been sick for more than a week. And it keeps getting worse. Hey, I put some clean water in the bathroom so you can wash a little. It feels weird to leave other people's clothes, but we need the warmth. Pro tip. Always boil the water. Unless you want Daniel spraying nasty things on both ends. No way I can give any of these to Daniel. Too risky. Hello, motel room soap. Um, okay. No more peeing at night for Daniel. He got so scared. We're lucky he didn't blow up the house. Daniel's cold is getting worse. We need a serious fire in here. We scored with these clothes. Plus five street cred. Um, okay. I'm trying to figure out. I think I could get used to living like this. Quiet. Free. This house is cool, but it doesn't help with Daniel's health. We never found the key to this door. I guess using the sliding door is cool. Let's go, bro. We're freezing in here. This thing is strong as a rock. to get warm. Of course. He's the town fucking hero now. How can I feel bad for him? Wonder where Brody is now. Oh yeah. No internet. I'm used to ink, so this will be different. I have time to learn now. Dead for a week. 
But at least we got some news. Longer than I expect. Here we go. Hold on, Mushroom. We're gonna build a fight. Starving. Guess it's time to start cooking. Yum. Too bad I can't make a pizza fly to us. I could start Daniel's delivery service. <laughs> this hot dog man issue is kind of weird. These were all I found when I hit the town last week. Mmm. Tough choice. How you doing, Mushroom? Better talk to Daniel after dinner. In the world. I'm just glad we found you. Hey, what are you cooking? Oh, I'm sorry. Here's your menu choices. Ravioli or ravioli. Okay, okay. <sighs> so tired of eating the same shit. Never eating this again. I just want one slice of pizza. There was a little bit left when we came. Pretty disgusting, but... Help staying... These were all I found when I hit the town last week. One hit wonders. <laughs> that marsh burger totally looks like mushroom. <laughs> this thing is strong as a rock. Okay, and find you mushroom. You're the best puppy in the world. <sighs> so tired of eating the same shit. I'm just like I just want one slice of pizza. <laughs> as badass as it would be. There's no way we'll heat our food without a pan. Oh, pan. <laughs> Whoops. Pan, pan, pan. Oh, 
Man, I miss listening to music so fucking much. What? It was published before you were even born, Sean. No way I'm touching that. That marsh bridge totally looks like mushroom. Hmm. I could do a super cool manga about Daniel. <laughs> Daniel loves his brand new tablet. Clean dishes and pans are in the bathroom, as they always should be. <coughs> Daniel needs to eat something after all that psychic crap. Oh, it's warming up. It feels so good. I wish we had a big fireplace. Like in Seattle. Remember? Of course I remember. You always got sick on s'mores and ruined the toilet. Yeah. I missed that time. I know. Thank God kids used to spend vacations here. Daniel would have been mad without these. Mushroom, do you see how strong I'm getting? Ready for today's training, puppy? Sit. Shroom, sit. Seriously, girl. Sit. Mushroom, sit, girl. Are you kidding me? You just don't know how to talk to her. I'll remember this, traitor. Nah, it's not ready yet. I'm a ravioli expert now. Maybe I can draw a quick sketch outside while the food is heating. Maybe. I've looked enough. Time to draw now.
Come on, girl. Let's get back in. Okay, dinner's ready. Get the hurt. Getting sick of ravioli. That was spaghetti a la ties. <laughs> Didn't you taste the famous truffle sauce? Yep. Plus, I love the garlic bread and ice cream. Yum. Ooh, you want some too, huh, mushroom? Daniel, come on. I know. Hide my powers. But it's just you and me and puppy. I don't want you to get in the habit. <coughs> Sorry. I'm cool. <sighs> Hold on. I need to show you something. Um, okay. Gotta show him the map. I think I left it with my books. This thing is strong as a rock. The guy who came here sure had time to kill. We scored with these clothes. Plus five street cred. he put it? Uh, I wonder where where it is. Man, at least we have fresh water in our front yard.
once you get used to squatting, it's not so bad. The room is fucking cold, so we put everything we didn't need in it and keep it closed. Mm. Nothing here. Daniel, what did you do with the map? Mm. What do you mean? You know what I mean. Where's the map that was with my stuff? This map. It's in my tent. Sorry, Sean. <sighs> okay, come on, doggy. Let's go, girl. Hey, man. Can you call your dog? I don't exist. Mushroom. Come here, girl. What a great team. Time to play dad, dog. What the? When did he show up? I don't know. Uh, I just saw- Mother f Daniel! <laughs> Got you! <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good job. <laughs> you almost shit your pants. Of course I did, man. Anyway... Okay, I think it's time for us to hit the road. You're not getting better. We're almost out of supplies. No, I'm okay. <coughs> it's just a cough. Yeah, a bad cough that won't go away. Trust me, Daniel. You need some medicine. Look. Here. Beaver Creek? What's that? That's where Karen's parents... Our grandparents live. Okay. So what? So we can go there and... They'll probably help us. Why do you always force us to run, Sean? What if they... Don't like me? They're family, right? Plus they owe us for what Karen... For what Mom did. Um... You sure? It would be cool to spend Christmas with our grandparents. Man, they're gonna love you. Grandpa's super cool and... I'm sure you guys will be best buds. Well... Okay. But Mushroom has to agree too. She's part of the team. What do you say, girl? <laughs> okay, when? Tomorrow. The sooner the better. We have a long road ahead. Hmm. We should do something fun for our last night here. How about a team of dice? If I win, I get to draw on your backpack. You know I'm gonna win and draw a dick on your bag, right? <laughs> I don't think so, pussy. Party time. Okay, ready to lose, Captain? Watch your butt, matey. <laughs> Here we go. 
Just need a six, a five, and a four. <sighs> Sheesh. Okay. Give me a six. Yes! Full ship. This ship is mine. <laughs> Ahoy, Captain. I have a crew now. Here comes the loot. <sighs> Better than nothing. <laughs> High score. Oh, I'm a sucky pirate. All right, your turn. Yes! All right, I just need a four now. Come on, give me something, anything. Phew, it was a close one. Pretty good. My turn now. <laughs> Be ready to lose. <sighs> Can I get something better this time? <sighs> okay. Got <sighs> what the hell? I wonder what we would have done if we didn't find these dice. I don't know. Probably read all these books. Uh, boring. You remember that time I beat Dad at chess? You mean we beat Dad? Yeah, you did help me distract them. <laughs> I bet he would have liked this game. <sighs> Definitely. He was a great pirate. Just like us. Captain Diaz, King of the Seas. Come on, give me something, anything. Phew, it was a close one. Do you think Grandma and Grandpa will have... And I win. Do you know what it means? <sighs> yeah, okay. You want it. Here's my bag. Mmm, let's see. Here, what do you think? <laughs> Is that mushroom? Yes! I know I'm not as good as you, but... Nah, it's... It's really cool, dude. Thanks. So, let's do another one? <sighs> yeah, okay. I'm gonna beat you this time. It's getting late, though. So let's make it short. Okay. Mushrooms growing up so fast. Really? I don't see much difference. Well, she's still a tiny dot. But I can tell she's getting older. And smarter. You're a smart girl. Right? <laughs> she's so cute. I love her forever. Fail the holds. Ah, not the best score. But I'll do better next time. You'll see. You wish. Yes, full ship. Yeah, yeah. Good job. I need the score now. Pretty please. Cool. Again? My turn now. Be ready to lose. I suck at this. Okay. 
What the hell? You kidding me? I can see the dice rolling, dude. What did I do? You're just finding excuses. Stop cheating, man. You gotta be better than this. Especially now. Whatever. Can I get something better this time? Okay. Got a ship. It's better than nothing. Come on, five. Still incomplete? Jeez. Sounds like a no score. This is my last chance. Don't fail me. Yes! Full ship and cargo. What are you gonna do? You just lucked out. Ha! Boom. Full ship. Better than nothing. Hey, pretty good loot. The dice are yours. Yes, full ship. Yeah, yeah. Good job. I need the school. Pretty please. And I win. So, let's do another one? It's bedtime. Gotta get up early. I'm gonna finish my comic book. She has to pee. Okay, okay. I'll take her out for a walk. You're going to smoke. It smells like ass. You're right. Don't smoke. But it's our last night, so we can do anything. All right, all right. I heard you the first time, dude. Um, yeah, that they subscribe subscribers, but I don't give two fucks about how many subscribers I get anymore because most of subscribers I get of Prima this not all assholes, but some are assholes. My next video, I'm gonna continue with Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I don't give a fuck what anybody else says anymore. I know a lot of people beat the game, but it's still a fucking good game. And if you figure out what it is at the sound.
not really alone. I'm going back on Saturn Creed. Um, I'm probably going to do or Hitman or Haver, but oh, a few months, I'm probably going to do more of the Walking Dead Tall Tales. Um, Hey Daniel, how are you doing? It sucks. I'm coming. <laughs> Mushroom wants to go out. Don't you hear? Yeah, sorry. Move. So, what's going on? It doesn't fit in. There's too much stuff. It's fucking bullshit. Hey, cool down. It's gonna be okay. I know, but... What did you pack in? What the f... Dude, you can't fit the whole room in. Don't worry. Your super strong big brother can help. <laughs> well... Awesome. Thanks, Sean. Well, looks like we're almost set. Where's Mushroom? Still... Peeing, I guess. I'm gonna check what she's up to. <sighs> okay, I'll fill up our bottles and I'll catch up with you guys. Okay, all done. Where the hell is he? Daniel! Daniel! Hey, you out here? Daniel! Where is he? Oh 
We have a two-day walk ahead of us. Better get going. Daniel? Where are you? No. I have to find Daniel and Mushroom. Ah. Uh. What are they doing? We have to leave. What the fuck happened here? Something's not right. <sighs> That's not good. It's all right. I'm right here. Here. You should do it. Is that it? Well, unless you want to say something. Mushroom. You were such a good puppy. 
I'll always remember running through the snow with you and how you you snuggle and I'll never forget you never good girl rest in peace you won't be forgotten. Sean, do you think she's up in heaven? With Dad? Yeah. I'm sure he will look after her. Wait. What about his allergies? <laughs> Don't worry, Nana. There's no allergies up there. They'll be fine together. Okay. We should go. It's getting late. Sean. I'm sorry I killed the cat. I don't know what I was thinking. If only I could. I know. Come on, buddy. Wow. Wish we didn't have to go. I like having the house again. Come on. Let's hit the road. What about my traps? Should we leave them up? <laughs> They'll protect the next runaways to stay here. Bye, Lord Snowman. You look after our mushroom. <laughs> so long. Life is strange, uh, life is strange, uh, back in, my, I believe, 2011, or 2009, or some year, sorry, some fucking year, but, I'm not really sure, but, I went a little bit disappointed about uh, pretty much a whole different story plot um, and about two blocks. Um, the thing is, we the fans thought it was going to be pretty much um, the aftermath of uh, the aftermath of Kuntano Bay after pretty much that. If you do the same city or you didn't. 
because I don't really it, a good story plot but I don't uh, I understand it completely now but I don't I would kind of hope to see the aftermath of uh, what uh, Matt Caulfield and Chloe Price. experience because my understanding is the kid spirit a whole or a different type I think <coughs> we made it Daniel It's been a long time since I was here. When was that? Before you were born. Come here. Let me check you out. Claire likes everything super clean. Dad said she got pissed because he let me bring a snowball in the house. We don't want to look like total pigs. What if they went on vacation? Or, or something? We'll figure out something. I'm sorry, we don't want any of... Hello, Claire. Sean? Oh, my. Is that... Daniel? What's going on out here? I heard... Look who's here! After all this time. What the hell are you doing here? Stephen, watch your mouth. Well... It's kind of a long story. <coughs> oh, you poor thing. You know he's sick, right? Yeah, but... Okay, inside. Both of you. Is it uh, warm enough for you? Oh, yeah. Feels nice and toasty. I gave Daniel some cough medicine, but you should have taken better care of him. He could have been worse. You were lucky. Stephen, may I talk to you for a second? I think it used to be in the 
living room. <sighs> Fuck. Did I make a mistake coming here? Maybe we should call Gus. <sighs> it's good to be inside. Finally. I just hope they let us stay then. Feels so awkward to be here. I'm so hungry, my belly hurts. Our grandchildren are worried by the police for murder. I know. What if Sean is guilty? Sleeping in our home. It's what the fuck? Let's, let's just ask him what happened. And we'll figure something out. Okay? All right, Stephen. You all right, honey? You want more tea? Thanks. I'm good. Uh, well, Sean, do uh, you want to talk about... Uh, uh... The police called us a few weeks ago. They're looking for you as suspects in a homicide and for assault and robbery in a gas station. Now... It if you want us to help you, did you hurt that police officer in Seattle? I don't know. I swear, I don't. Too much happened and I'm trying to figure it out, but all I know is that he shot dead. And now he's gone. Oh, sweetie. We are so sorry for what happened to your father, but why did you run away if you're innocent? It happened so fast. I saw the cop on the ground and my dad and, and I freaked out. Oh, I know, you poor thing. That just made things worse for you and your brother. You know the police would separate us. Maybe forever. Daniel would end up in foster care. You can't be sure, Sean. Anyway, at least you've managed to come here alive. We're glad you two are okay. I hate to think what could have happened to both of you. You need to think of long-term solutions now. I tried. I swear. But I can't do everything. So... What are your plans? I'm trying to figure it out. I just want to watch out for Daniel. Wait for him to get better. Before we take the road again. How can you look out for your brother if you're both running from the police? You two are going to stay with us. Oh, Stephen. Maybe we should... After your mother left... Your dad never really wanted us in your life. I can't blame him. But you're still part of our family, and uh, we want to prove it, okay? Seriously? That's really nice, Stephen. Thank you. Okay, but we have to lay down the rules of the house. No mess, no noise, or no service. The biggest rule is keep your heads low around here. Beaver Creek is small and nosy and nosy. We can stay? Serious? Awesome! Ooh, Sean, guess what? 
There's a huge model train upstairs. Hey, you're supposed to be resting, young man. <laughs> yeah, yes he is. But he seems better already. Anyway, you and Daniel will stay here. At least until Daniel's better. We'll see what happens next. So, I bet you're hungry. Let me fix you something. That's so look up here. How do you feel, Superwolf? Way better. It's nice and warm in here. And the food? Yum. Yeah. Feels good. Feeling better? You look cozy. Yeah. I love that bed. Mm. Thanks, Grandma. Good. Your temperature is down. I'm way better now. You still need to take it easy. How about if we say a little prayer and, and give thanks? It's like a bedtime story, right? Well, this is a bit like this, yes. Except the story comes from up there. <laughs> the ceiling. So are we ready to pray? Just follow my lead. Sure. We need all the help we can get. Can you ask the blessed dad? And Sean. Um, and Mushroom. And you and Grandpa. And, uh, everybody else. Oh my, you are so sweet. Thank you, Lord, for bringing Sean and Daniel safe and sound into our house. Take care of Esteban and, uh, Mushroom. Please, give us the strength to get over the hardships of the past and the trials yet to come. Amen. 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 Okay. It's bedtime. Try to get some rest. You still need it. And no roughhousing in here. No worries. We're too tired. Good night. Oh, and thanks again. Good night, Grandma. It feels so nice to have a bed again. And the bathroom. I hear that. Plus, you don't smell anymore. Whatever. Well, Claire seems pretty caring. And nice. I guess Steven is too. I hope we'll be fine here. I think so. And the more important thing is you'll have time to get better. Sean? Are we in Mom's old room? Nah, I don't think this is the one. Not from what I remember. But it's been a while. Could we check it out tomorrow? Maybe find some of her stuff? Why would you want to do that? I just don't know anything about her. Daniel, I understand. But we need to focus on where we are now and where we're off to. Mom left us. She made her choice. We gotta make ours. And we can't keep going back. You know what I mean? Yeah. I guess. Hey, man. You've been doing so great with your... Well, you know, I was wondering, how do you do it? Uh, 
I don't know. I concentrate and it just happens. Wait. Does it hurt? Nah. It's kind of itchy though. And exhausting. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. Remember the rules, right? We really don't want Claire or Stephen to start asking questions. I know, I know. Don't show, don't talk. Just keep that in mind and everything should be fine. Sleep tight, little cub. I could sleep all day long in this bed, but I'm way too hungry. Get dressed before you go, dude. Claire thinks breakfast is like a job interview. This is pretty good so far. I love that Steven only has crime and train books. That's a cool memento of our secret cabbing in the woods. Thanks, Claire, but I will never wear these things. to go out now. Sean! Finally. Sean, are you awake? Breakfast's almost done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay! <sighs> What's up? Ah, look who's here. But, uh, you're too late for the 915 Express. <laughs> um, it's okay. I'll take the next one. It will leave after breakfast. Don't be late this time. <laughs> I won't. Look who's awake. Good morning, sleepyhead. It's that bed. Feels like a cloud. <laughs> I know. Daniel, mm. breakfast time. Your brother is ready. <sighs> Grandpa, show me your bomb star. 
Stephen, your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the boxcar later. I love how they're getting along. Do you need help or anything? Oh, don't worry. I can do this in the dark. <laughs> but thanks for the offer. All right, all right. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers, but the engine broke down. Yep, has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. Choo-choo! <laughs> Ah, uh, sugar. <sighs> he can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. Huh. Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great, as usual. You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. I miss Seattle, my friends. Oh, there's so much more to do in the city. <laughs> there's more crime, more traffic. Nobody can go out anymore. I think there's crime everywhere. I love Seattle, but it's cool here too. Well, it's certainly safer for children. Everybody out here is a neighbor. We try to lend a hand, like to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and things have been hard on him and his son. He would just get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh, cool. going on back there? Nothing. Oh, and I thought Stephen was a fast eater. Hey, Grandma, I wanted to ask you something about that locked room upstairs. I told you there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning, then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there, and... Besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? <sighs> this is bullshit. Daniel, language. Why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Promise. But be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. And maybe you should tell him to watch his mouth. It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Daniel needs that. He doesn't know anything about her. I know, poor thing. His mother isn't in there anymore. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. Did Mom ever contact you? She only talked to Dad a few times. Then she was gone. <sighs> yes, she was. You know, Sean, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's over. Anyway, 
You have to respect my rules under my roof, okay? Of course. Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Now you better go find your brother. There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Danny will freak. Thank you. I wonder where this was taken. I don't picture Claire and Steven as world travelers. Where was that picture of you guys on the beach from? We went to Hawaii when Steven retired, believe it or not. Oh, that's so cool. I could totally see you surfing. Did you love it? Well, it was too much paradise for me. I think Steven could have stayed. Dad said Puerto Lobos was like a mini paradise. We'll see. Hmm. Is it? <sighs> Shoot, I don't know. I better catch up with Steven and get those keys. <laughs> Daniel's going nuts in here. <sighs> Feels so good to be safe at last. I can't believe Steven spent his whole life building this. He's a real artist. Where is he? You really have weird, ugly hair. <laughs> I would never get that hair cut. Have you ever seen any actual fish in there? Never. Look at all these decorations. That's so cool. Oh, so are you excited about this? Of course I am. When do we start? Hmm. I got a funny feeling. I think I need a handy assistant. Can you hand me the glue in the cupboard behind me? Sure. Hold on. 
Whoa! Careful. Sorry, I I forgot. That thing isn't too stable. Let me just. Uh, okay. Sorry. My fault. Your grandmother keeps telling me, but uh, I'm a lazy old man. Hey, uh, can you close the door? I want to talk for a second. Oh. Uh, it's the power cable, of course. Yeah, it happens all the time. So, listen, I've uh, noticed things with Daniel. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah, I do. But uh, how the heck is that possible? I mean, he can, well, you know more than me. Uh, not really. It started in Seattle after everything happened. I wish I could explain, but that's how it is now. And we have to live with it. I... I really don't know what to think. He needs a... doctor. Or... something. Then I'd probably never see him again. Yeah... I get it. He needs you. More than anything else. And by the way, let's keep this between us. Claire has a lot of strong beliefs. She wouldn't understand. She adores Daniel and just wants both of you to be safe and happy. What I'm trying to say is maybe you should stay here with us. I know you boys plan to run to Mexico, but... Thanks. Maybe we could, but... <sighs> Why not? I know, being out here in the sticks with us old farts isn't exciting, but... This is your home now. It's cool. Kinda different, but... I just don't want you to get into trouble because of us. It's dangerous to be on the road. Do you think your father would have wanted this for his kids. Of course not. But everything's different now. I know. I know. Ah, damn it. Well, just think about it. But don't torture yourself. I will. Hey, uh... Claire said you had the keys for the tool shed? Oh, uh, sure. <clears throat> Here. You guys enjoy the sun. And be careful with that shed. It's probably a mess inside. Thanks. So here. It's good to see you in my lair. Oh, there you are, Sean. Got the key? Hey, <laughs> I have to go out and run some errands. Can you do me a big favor? Do you know how to work a washing machine? <sighs> Since I was about eight. Of course. Can you throw in yours and your brother's clothes after the next load? They're in the bathroom basket. Totally, yeah. Um, no problem. Thank you so much. <laughs> Feel free to start tidying your stuff, too. It's good for the health to keep a house clean. Definitely. Daniel can help. Ah, and remember, for your own safety, no phone and no internet. I know, I know, boring rules. Don't worry, Claire. Hey, Daniel! There's work for you. Uh, no, I'm 
busy. B busy my ass. Come over here. Jeez. I got a feeling I got a client in that in that room. I get that he's sick of all this shit, but. Why are we playing this game? We stopped our training session since we got here, so... It sucks. Oh. <sighs> Better not sneak in. They won't like it. your butt out. Okay, okay. No more hiding. Seriously. Okay, okay. What do I have to do? You tidy the mess in our room, and I take care of the laundry. Cool? Again? We always have to clean everything. I don't wanna. Yeah, I hear you. Never mind, okay? Cool. Thanks, Sean. Oh, man. How did we survive for weeks out there with no hot water? <sighs> All right. Time to take care of that laundry. <sighs> Thanks, Claire. As always with Claire, I can't really tell if this is cute or bossy. Weird. Sometimes I feel like we're complete strangers, which we kind of are. The switch.
Come on, man. I put all your toys in the trash, dude. Of course not. But next time you bail on me, maybe I will. That's a cool memento of art. Secret cabbing in the woods. <laughs> Daniel looks like a total thug in his new pajamas. Our dirty clothes are in the bathroom, obviously. Of course. Always in the dirty bathroom. Always. All right, let's get it over with. How many programs does this thing have? Okay, it will do. Boring laundry? Done. Time for fresh air. I heard Claire rehearse some songs. <laughs> She's got the groove. Jeez, I told him about leaving his toys around. <laughs> okay, time to burn off some calories. What do you say? Ha <laughs> ha, yes. to be outside. Reminds me of the cabin. Right? Oh! Ow! Shh. <sighs> what did Claire say? Who cares what the old bat said? Ready for storage wars. What's wrong? <sighs> Frozen shut. Of course. Sean, look! We just got here. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, I didn't see anything either. 
Oh, oh, okay. I just fell down into the snow. Dad says I'm kind of clumsy. That t-shirt is wicked. Who's your favorite superhero? I love Power, Power Bear. Bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I have the Mega Power Bear. You should check it out. Dude, that's so cool. Chris, oh, God. Look, I, I am so sorry. Are you okay? Oh, Dad, I'm fine. I promise. Are, are you sure? Listen, I shouldn't... Do you know them? It, it's okay, Dad. They're cool. He loves superheroes, even Power Bear. Ah, gotcha. Hey there. Are you staying with the Reynolds? Oh, uh, yeah. They're our grandparents. Oh, I see. Oh, geez, Chris. You don't have any damn shoes on. I'm sorry, buddy. Let's get you inside. I... Uh, yeah. Okay, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, and, uh... If Claire asks, tell her everything is fine. Sure. Uh, no problem. Cool. See you around, then. Thanks, guys. See you later. Yes, we will. <sighs> Daniel, did you forget everything about the rules already? Sorry, Sean. Did you want me to let him fall? Really? <sighs> no, you... <sighs> you did the right thing. <sighs> but listen... We can't let anybody know. We have to keep a low profile out here. He's like my age. I bet you would have done the same exact thing. Don't be mad. I'm not mad, dude. It's... It's over. Daniel, remember that we're hiding out. So no training and no showing off your power. From now on, you stick with me all the time. Okay? Huh. <laughs> <sighs> oh, man, I've been two hours, five minutes, and about a ten. Crap. Fuck. But, shit. I don't give two fucks about pretty much monthly anything. But I'm saying I don't got work. Well, I don't got work today, but I got work tomorrow. Hmm? Oh, fuck. That kitten never listens. Claire? Steven? Anybody home? Well, looks like I'm home alone. Oh, right. Sunday morning. Claire and Steven must be at church. Well, I guess they won't be back for 
at least two hours. Maybe I could use Steven's laptop? It's been ages since I've had news from the real world. Well... Jeez. Steven went search. These articles are almost a month old. Maybe they stopped looking for us? What the hell is this? I had no idea Steven could fall for this bullshit conspiracy theories. Holy shit! Wow. Lila seems to be having a hard time. Never seen her this salty. I should really call Lila to check on her. Well, Brody, if we ever make it home, Wherever that is, he'll be much, much welcome. Brody makes everything interesting. Even the weirdest stuff. Holy shit. Who are these assholes? That's some fucked up hate speech. Wow. Lila... I should really call Lila to check on her. <sighs> Steven and Claire are gonna freak if they realize he went to the Ericsons. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's get this brack back home now. Why does Daniel never listen? Maybe I'm too soft with him. Maybe. Daniel! What's going on here? Uh, Sean! Wait! Don't freak out! I can't explain. Let me tell him. Sean, I know it sounds crazy, but I have a superpower. You saw me yesterday. I know you did. I was flying. I can move things, objects, with my mind. Oh, a superpower. Really? Yes. Great. 
and you don't realize what that implies? Everyone can see you from the outside. You could get in real trouble. This is dangerous. Do you understand? Yes. We hear you. We promise to be careful. This is just our secret, okay? Nobody can find out I'm the real Captain Spirit. And nobody will. Ever. Now you're an official member of the Spirit Squad. If you betray us, I'll disintegrate you. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Oh yeah, we need a... Team Signal. Totally. I'm gonna be Super Wolf. What's your super name, Sean? I... I don't need a super name. I'm... already awesome. Aw, oh, come on. We're gonna call you super lame if you don't want to choose. Okay, guys, I think we're ready to roll. Uh, excuse me. Who are you? I'm Sean. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, man. You're here for Daniel. Hey, let's make it official. I'm Charles Erickson. Nice to meet you. Hope you know that Daniel and Chris are a dangerous team. We better watch out, or they're gonna take over the world. Yeah. They share a lot of things. As thick as thieves. Can we go get the Christmas tree now? We're both ready to fly. Yes, yes, yes. The, the team has been waiting too long. Hey, you should come along too. There's nothing going on over here. Yes! Can't wait to see all the decorations! And Sean, we could buy Christmas presents for Grandma and Grandpa. Um... Okay, sure. I'll go with you guys. Really? <laughs> yeah! Cool. Yeah, I just wish Chris and Daniel were excited about going. Okay, team, uh... Give me a time out to clean up the back seat. I'll honk when I'm done. Ooh, uh, can I use the bathroom? Of course. Oh, you'll see my comic books. I'm glad you're coming too. Hey, you wanna see my toys? Oh, store. The new hot dog man? Since you're a new member of the team, you have to know everybody. These are Captain Spirit's friends. And his enemies. Dude, that's pretty cool. Can you guess who are the good guys and the villains? Let's see. Look closely. Interesting. The bad guys, the good guys. Not that easy, right? Careful. It may be tricky. You sure? The bad guys, the good guys. Not that easy, right? Careful, it may be tricky. Look closely. The bad guys, the good guys. Not that easy, right? Hmm, okay.
Look closely. Careful. It may be tricky. Okay. How did I do? You're not a very good observer. Okay. Let me introduce them to you. This is Team Spirit, the good guys. There's the Forest Warrior, Power Bear, Marty Rex, and Sky Pirate. So, who are the bad guys? That's Noctarius and the Shark Stinger. There's also Snowmancer, but he's out in the garden. But they're all working for Mantroid, who's the real supervillain. So, where is he? Hiding out on his evil planet, waiting for me. But Captain Spirit and Super Wolf will make sure he doesn't hurt anyone. <laughs> yeah, strength in numbers. Sounds like Mantroid is in trouble. Just wait until he sees what Captain Spirit can do now. Yeah, about that. Aren't you afraid? Maybe... It's not a good idea to disclose all your powers like this. That Mantroid guy could be watching you, you know? Even better. So he'll know he better stay away from us. Anyway, you shouldn't let anyone know about this. Not even your father. I'm definitely not telling Dad. I don't want to freak him out. He's worried about other stuff anyway. Well, your dad is cool. He totally hooked you up with that treehouse. Yeah, he let Steven build it for me. It's my flying fortress. <laughs> I bet. There's no stopping him from building things. Well, Captain Spirit had to help him, of course. <laughs> Obviously. All hail Captain Spirit, the first and only Carpenter Vigilante. Ah, cool. Sorry, the water eater is still broken. There's the signal. Come on, Daniel. Hey! Pro tip, don't go in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, squad, let's roll. Need my jacket? I, I don't want you catching another cold. No, I'm good. Thanks. And don't be waving your arms around when I'm driving, okay? <laughs> yeah. Uh, remember, Daniel, don't mess around. All right. Jeez. Thanks for clearing the snow from the porch. You're you're awesome. You're welcome, Dad. Okay, buddy. You ready? Yeah. Hey! 
You guys go ahead and we'll come back to meet you, okay? Brothers meeting. Sure. But... Don't get lost. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. But Chris thinks he can do all this cool stuff. I wish he could. He reminds me of Noah. I just miss having friends, Sean. I know, man. But you can't lie to friends about something like this. He could get in trouble thinking he can make shit fly. Or he could get hurt. So you want me to tell him the truth? Well, I don't want you to lie anymore. You don't have to tell him everything. But don't let him think he has magic powers, okay? You swear? Okay. I swear. Deal. I'm counting on you, Anano. Can I go see Chris now? Yeah, let's go. But don't forget what I said. Wow! So many trees! You coming, Sean? Don't worry. Okay. I'll be I around. Know. Hey, what's up? Uh, nothing. I'll tell you later. So, what do we do? We have to pick the one we like. Can Daniel help, Dad? Of course he can. Awesome. Come on, no time to lose. Okay, just pick the one you like and come get me. Deal? Deal. I've never been on such a dangerous mission. Yeah, these wild trees are just waiting to eat us. We'll have to tame the one we want. Hey, Sean. What's up? Just wanted to thank you for bringing us out here. Hey, no problem. I hope you'll find what you're looking for. It's kind of a tiny place. It's perfect. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, I sure need it. It's not an easy task with this guy. Come get me when you're done. I will. This one. Hmm. Too thin. You're right. We need a strong tree to protect our base from evil elves. Okay. Better find a gift for Daniel quick. While he's still busy with Chris. Mm. Let's look at another one. <laughs> Looks like someone went nuts over these blocks. Behold, the giant condom machine. Come on, Look, giant cocoons. Better be careful. Snow spiders mm. must be really <laughs> Sorry, man. I prefer my pine trees alive. Captain Spirit will crush them with his mind. Look at another one. How can they sell so many trees in such a small town? Get another one. Hi. Everything all right? All good. Whoa. Quiet morning as usual. 
The guy who painted that. He must have been seriously high. I'm fine for now. It's me, it's me, you've come to take my duality wakes by midnight time I could not see if I were you, were you, or me. Not much, but she probably needs it more than me right now. Hmm. Quiet morning. The best Christmas If I have enough here, cash left, I, decorate your front doors with something I could get a gift for... <sighs> Shit. Definitely not my budget. Claire and Steven definitely have a king for Christmas. Bet they like these. Each of our wreaths is unique. Special price if you buy two. Look at another one. Good shape, pretty. <laughs> Dad pushed every year to get a plastic tree, <laughs> but we never surrendered. Feels kind of weird to spend Christmas here. I wonder what will happen to the trees no one buys. <laughs> Dear Santa, we've been good kids this year. Please explain this hot mess. Okay, got it. Only sell handmade local products. Come take a look. <laughs> yeah.
You won't find better deals in Beaver Creek. Okay. Better find a gift for Daniel quick. While he's still busy with Chris. <coughs> Dad pushed every year to get a plaque. <laughs> but we never surrendered. I'm glad Daniel made a new friend. He needed this. Hey, Dan, come over here. Let me just... <sighs> Jeez. Daniel Snowman wasn't that creepy after all. Looks like someone went nuts over these blocks. Huh. <coughs> it's nice to leave the house after being locked up the whole week. Hey. Ha! <laughs> well, finally. Someone who dares speaking with me. Hope you're vaccinated. <laughs> what? Uh, no, I mean... <laughs> I'm just messing with you. It's nice to chat for a change. Me and my friends have been crashing here for the wait. Nobody gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. No, no way. Just here for the holidays. Ah. You got family. My grandparents. <laughs> Gotta love the grandparents. What about you and your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kind of hop from place to place, hunting for little jobs. And... <sighs> Must be a long ride. That's okay. We hop on trains. Gives us time to rest. Man. That sounds wicked. <laughs> you have no idea. It's free and so fucking fun. Well, unless you get caught or fall, but we've been lucky so far. That's the best. <coughs> Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. And you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. Next stop is Humboldt County, California. <laughs> Stoner break. Not even close. We actually got work over there. Sean, what are you doing? We've hit the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. Oh, hi. Who are you? Ooh, your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, well, what do you think? Hmm, I don't know, but it's really cool. I'm Daniel. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. I'm Cassidy. I dig your superhero outfit. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. I can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. 
And what's your name? Oh, uh, Sean. I... I thought I told you. No, you did. Sorry, you went through some shit with the guys. How much you make? You ready? Hello, pups. Ooh, is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. So we adopted him. And he stinks. Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> Well, he's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? I think it just twitched. You should keep your distance, dude. She looks really cool, I think. See? He knows I'm clean. You're the nasty one. Yeah, you always go for those suburban boys. <laughs> Are you kidding? You want to talk about your scoreboard, Hotshot? Hey, no worries. Come on, let's bail. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Stay out of trouble, Goodbye. kids. Hope we see you on the rails someday. Yeah. See you around. That doggy was so cute. I miss Mushroom. I miss her, too. Hey, excuse me. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine, so... Uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal, too. And you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. Our dog's not gonna eat you. Look at him. You better watch your mouth. You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? Jeez. Mm, Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> He's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> oh, God. He's gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Fucking parasites. Why did they fight? I don't know why he yelled like that. We should kick his ass, Sean. See the snow on that booth? Yeah. What about it? Maybe this guy needs a shower. You know? To cool him down. <laughs> You're right. Hold on. Careful. Careful. <laughs> this will teach him. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. They're pretty. So cool. How Whoa. Let Sean... The guy who painted that. He must have been seriously high. <laughs> Ridiculous. Aw, uh, you're jealous because I'm cute. You're lost. Welcome, kid. Hit me up if you want anything. <sighs> Shit. Definitely not my budget. <sighs> I won't come back into town. Now's my only chance to grab Daniel a present. Quick. Is that a yo-yo? Daniel had one back home. 
bet he loved this. I... I know it sucks, but... Daniel deserves it, too. Right? guys ready to go? Yeah. All done. Cool. <laughs> Hop in. Are you having too much fun back there? Yeah. That's what I thought. Probably told me, but YouTube been fucking up lately. Got the only people been pretty much being able to comment was uh, is uh, pretty much everybody out the set <laughs> got it paying ass. Get people to comment. Not because of, uh, pretty much, it got, uh, pretty much, YouTube, how people pretty much do Looks like Daniel shit. found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding, he dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. It looks like you did too. What's her name? Um, Cassidy? Cassidy. Cute name. Do you like her? She was cool. You too quick! Ah, anyway, got ya. <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily, she died two years ago. Obviously, it was tough on Chris. Shit. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle. Especially trying to be a good dad. You're doing your best. Chris is awesome. And... He's got a wonderful imagination. Thanks for saying that. Chris does have talent. <laughs> He's a storyteller. I see that. Just like Daniel. You two seem to get along well. <laughs> I mean, you really look out for him. I realize I'm far from being up to the task. Chris? deserves a real family. Anyway, I shouldn't have brought this up. Okay, forget it. No worries. Didn't mean to make you feel bad. We all have our ups and downs, right? That's how life works. Your grandparents sure did have their share of downs, too. But they're always there for us. For Chris. They seem like good people. They're so nice, but... Yeah, they have their problems, too. 
Sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, buddy. Uh, wanna set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you and... Meet Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf. Told him the truth? Yeah, yeah, I did. Did you know Trissa's mom was an artist? I... Didn't. How so? She drew comics. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh. What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. Upstairs. I know it's Mom's. Please. Daniel, you heard Claire. They will freak out if they know we went inside. We won't tell them. We'll be in total stealth mode. They won't know anything if we make it quick. It's just... I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me. If you don't want to. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come with you. So you don't make a mess and get us caught. They're gonna suck. We'll find a way to open it. Or I could just blow this stupid door up with my power. That looks super easy. Yeah, I could do that with a hammer. But let's try and find the key instead, all right? Uh, I'm just gonna clean up real quick. <sighs> okay, Steven. Where do you hide this key? I don't really see Steven listening to old school pop rock music. Yeah, not much to see in here. <sighs> Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Definitely not the one. Way too small. But let's see what it opens. Didn't know Claire had sleep troubles. I guess it kind of makes sense. Wonder what would have been different if Dad had taken us to church. Minute. Yes, Daniel. I know. I can't find the fucking key. I just need... Who knew this sweet little muffin would turn... I just need five minutes. Yeah, no. No way I'm searching Claire's underwear. Whoa, I'm just looking for a key, not the crown jewels. Ew, are these milk teeth? I'm not sure if it's gross or cute, but still, no key here. I saw it. Clothes. Old stuff. 
definitely no hidden key. Sharp objects. <laughs> Bit like Claire. We have to get into that room before they come back. What was Claire doing in that room? <sighs> Shit. These are Christmas presents? Let's not tell Daniel. Or he'd freak. <sighs> Who knew this sweet little muffin would turn into such a brat? Still super cute, though. Daniel, you really think you could open this door without doing too much damage? Yes, I know I can. Yep, it's empty. Sh Sean, what's taking so long? I can't find the key, Daniel. Then, let's just... We have to get into that room door. before they come back. We have to get into that room before they come back. <laughs> this whole house is pretty much a huge washing machine. Yes. I found one key, so it better fit. Just try it. There's not that much left. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? Claire and Steven must have thrown a lot of it away. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. Sean? What do you think happened to all the stuff in my room? when we left. I don't know, Inano. I wish I could answer that. Okay. Read a lot of these in the 10th grade. Yawn. Okay, Daniel. Is that an amethyst? She was into New Age bullshit. Okay, Daniel. You've seen everything you wanted to see? Claire and Steven will be home soon now. Just... five more minutes. They want to forget anything related to Karen. Hm. I can relate. I think it's not plugged. Hmm, so that's how mom used to smell? I don't know. I don't think she used... Oh. Okay. I miss not having any memories of her. I think I saw a moon eclipse once. Before Daniel was born. Never been a big fan of hiking. Why would 
they remove all the pictures? But here I was. Because they made them sad. Walking yeah. my way down to Mexico. Dad did the same Karen liked to take pictures Never of strangers when we walked down the streets. <sighs> I miss my skateboard. And going to the park. With Lila. How weird are these sunglasses? They're not sunglasses. They looked happy. How could you send all of this to hell? They're not sunglasses, man. It's to look at the sun during eclipses. Eclipses? You know, when the sun hides be Man, that pen pal sure loved listening to her own voice. You know, when the sun hides behind the moon. Oh, yeah. That must be so cool to watch. Did she tell you why she left? She told Dad, and Dad told me. He told you, too, right? All he ever said to me was she wasn't so sure what she wanted with her life. Well... Is that an amethyst? She was into new age bullshit. Well, I guess she finally figured it out. They looked happy. Well, I guess she finally figured it out. Because she never looked back. And we have to do the same thing too. I know. It's like she almost never used those. So... Why would Claire lock these up in here? Is that for Mom? Huh? Let me see- Daniel! Come on. What's it say? Read it! Seriously, stop. Here, how about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well... A cop-out, in this case. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just... Stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Yeah. Then we gotta go. My goodness. Oh. Oh, shit. Excuse me. What are you both doing in here? Except visibly. Ransacking our house while we're at church? Clear. We're sorry. But we just wanted to... No one ever told you that everything you say before a butt has no value? You know you shouldn't be in here. Claire, please, calm down. No, Stephen. They went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of I this room. I have the right to see my mom's room. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. You... You lied to us! We found Mommy's letter! She wants to see us! She's not my daughter anymore. Or your mother. She burned all those bridges. One letter doesn't change what she did to me. All of us. She is not welcome back. It's been eight years. 
Maybe it's time to move on. Don't you dare lecture me, Sean. You don't know anything about how I feel. I can't hear that. <sighs> Listen, Sean. I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And we put up with a lot of things. But that going through our stuff, our personal belongings, well, that shows you don't respect us. We could go to jail just for helping you. This is how you pay us back? Well, things are just going to change around here if you want to stay. Man, I think I see why Mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? <gasps> Steven! Oh, shit! Get this goddamn thing off me! Steven, no! Hold on, honey, we'll get it off! No! Stop! Oh, my legs! Do it, Daniel! Now! Do what? What's going on? Oh, Lord, what... What are you doing, Daniel? Oh, my baby, Stephen, are you okay? No, I am. Thanks to Daniel. You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. What in the name of God was that all about? That's impossible. What are you, Daniel? Claire. Listen, they saved me, Claire. That's all that matters. Maybe it was a miracle. Thank you, Lord. I hit the sheriff. Stephen? Claire? Sean, I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, Grandma. Sean, what are we gonna do? Go hide in the garage. No, no, no way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. I'll distract him. Really? Yes. No. Get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. Your car's in the garage. I'm so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. I wish you could stay here with us. Watch out for your brother, Sean. Yes. Be careful. We'll see you as soon as we can, okay? Thanks for helping us. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. Daniel, wait for me.
in our style. Chris must be so mad at me. I could tell he was pissed when he saw I had the power. You get over it. You saved his life. He... he thinks I'm a liar now. He's a smart kid. He's not gonna stay mad. You guys are the... spirit squad, right? I hope so. Sean. I'm tired of running away. Why does my power always bring trouble? You don't have to use your power if you don't want to. But I'm good with it. And I'm the only one who can do these things. I know, but Daniel, you need to be careful. And listen to your brother. You think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again? I don't know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? See... See Mom? No way, man. We don't need her, okay? But... She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plan. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. Y you think? I don't know. Trust me, man. From now on, we make our own rules. Look, I even got you a present. Merry Christmas, Enano. For real? But it's in two weeks. Who cares? Dates are boring. Here. Gee. A yo-yo? Awesome. Early Christmas is the best. Hey. I got something for you two. I wanted to finish it, but we're doing it now, so. Oh, man. That's so cool. Hey. Listen. There's a ride. Come on. All aboard. I love trains.
that say up there is uh, pretty much yes, there, so uh, pretty much a little teaser. I'm a teaser. Yes, a teaser. So, this is it? Yeah. It looks like a nettle field. And it stinks. <laughs> yeah. And your stinky feet will cover the smell. Shut up. They don't. <laughs> Come on. I'll show you around. So, so see you guys next time. Uh, I'm gonna get some sleep, and hope you enjoy me pretty much. Join me playing Life is, Life is Strange. Um, I think that is. I didn't put it in there. I didn't have part three. Hold on, wait. Oh no, the, the part two. Part two, sorry. The episode two, sorry. <laughs> but, um, okay. So, um,. I'll see ya and I hope you got enjoy this. Go on, gotta get some see. You.